An Ontario court judge has sentenced Robert Crawford Wolf to three years in prison and three years probation for the manslaughter of Michael Finley. After credit for time served, Crawford Wolf has just 20 months left to serve. The judge finding that the 45 year old had no intention to harm, much less cause the death of Michael Finley that day. It was January 24th, 2023, when former CBC radio producer Michael Finley was pushed by a stranger walking towards him on the southbound sidewalk of Danforth Avenue near Jones. 73-year-old Finley struck a wooden flower planter on the sidewalk and suffered two broken ribs and a collapsed lung. Less than one week later, Finley went into cardiac arrest and died from his injuries. The suspect wanted for the random attack turned himself in one month later. Robert Cropperd Wolf pleaded guilty to manslaughter in May, telling court he had a mask over his face and never intended to bump the stranger nor cause bodily harm. Seeing Findlay stumble caused him to panic. What Cropperd Wolf did not know was that Findlay had pre-existing significant pulmonary and cardiac disease. The judge finding he was reckless and walking down a busy street with a mask over his face. He shoved Finley, but didn't know he was an elderly, frail person. Without the underlying conditions, it might have caused bodily harm, but would have unlikely to have been fatal in a completely healthy individual. I understand why he only got three years. Um, I agree with it because I really don't think that this young man really intended to hurt anybody. Finley's cousin and longtime friend were in the courtroom for sentencing. He's committed many, many, many offenses over the years. I hope rehabilitation follows. While court heard Cropperd Wolf had 65 prior convictions, mostly for property crimes, the judge found the 45 year old is genuinely remorseful. He always wanted the best for people, and I think that he would want the best for Mr. Cropperd Wolf. On top of the prison sentence, the judge ordered Crawford Wolf to perform substantial community service for the harm he's done to the community and said he must make every effort to find employment in an effort to reintegrate himself back into society. Catherine McDonald, Global News.